This video provides an example of the brown forsyth robusta nova. Researchers studied the sodium content of four popular snack foods. The independent variable is snack food, and the dependent variable is milligrams of sodium per serving. Data consisted of a random sample of 10 family size bags for each snack type. The null hypothesis is that there is no difference and the research hypothesis is that there is a difference in mean sodium content by snack food type. The researchers drew random samples of each snack food, and each observation belongs to one and only one snack food type, so the first two assumptions are met. We'll also assume that observations within groups are independent of one another. The last two assumptions are tested in SPSS. The p-values for the Shapiro-Wilk test are large, so the normality assumption is met. The Levine test p-value is less than 0.05, so we cannot assume equal population variances. Therefore, we use the brown forsyth test. The procedure is an option under one-way ANOVA in SPSS. This is also where you can request descriptive statistics and the Levine test. The Welch test is another robust option. These are called robust tests because they account for the unequal variances when calculating the within-group mean squares, much as the separate variance independent t-test does. The table of descriptive statistics provides some clue as to why the equal variance assumption wasn't met. The variability for popcorn is much lower than for the other snack foods. The brown Forsyth results include a test statistic, F. The between-groups degrees of freedom is the same as for the conventional ANOVA, but the within-groups degrees of freedom is different. This is rounded to the nearest integer when reporting results. Based on these results, the null hypothesis is rejected, and the researchers would conclude that there is a significant difference in mean sodium content by snack food. The Games-Howell post hoc test would be used to determine significant mean differences. The multiple comparison table looks exactly like that for the Tukey HSD. The easiest way to tackle these results is to skim down the p-value column. The only mean pair that is not significantly different is potato chips and popcorn. The null hypothesis for all other mean pairs would be rejected. The brown Forsyth results are reported in the same way as conventional ANOVA results, with the added statement that the robust test was used and why. The summary must include all paired comparisons. A table of mean differences can be useful in visualizing these differences. When the equal variance assumption has not been met, the brown Forsyth robust test should be used. If these results are statistically significant, the Games-Howell multiple comparison procedure is used to determine specific mean differences.